Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a Kim K inspired makeup tutorial and I just loved her look. I think it was like last weekend she wore it to a party in Vegas. She was bronzed to the max, super glowy. She had this wet, slick back hairdo and a pop of color on the lips. So I wanted to try and recreate the look for you today. If you want to see what products I used to get the look, Keep on watching. Okay, I was just getting ready to start and I caught a glimpse of what I look like and I just want to assure you, I do have clothes on. I'm not sitting here like naked filming. This is like a tube top romper. Uh, it just felt fitting for the video because Kim had something similar on, but yeah. Just wanted to point that out. All right, so I'm going to start. Um, L'Oreal actually sent me a whole bunch of makeup to try out, and a lot of the products I felt like actually went with this look. So this is going to be an all L'Oreal makeup video, and I'm going to start this look off with a little bit of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow, which, by the way, I did pick up just like a week ago, so this is going to be my first time trying it out. I was so excited because I went out to buy this a little while ago, and then I found out it didn't come out in Canada until like a month after the US, so as soon as I saw it, I bought my shade, and I'm just dabbing a thin layer of it all over with a sponge, and I was trying to figure out if it was my shade because I found that I was in between two shades, but the one I used is 205. Then I'm using the Magic Lumi highlighter pen, and it's pretty safe to say I already love this. This was my first time trying it out, but I liked how it did such a good job at brightening up under the eyes. I just tapped a little bit on in a triangle shape and then blended it out with a sponge. And then I saw it and I was like, okay, <laughs> Kim's coming to life. You can't do a Kim K look without a lot of highlighting, you guys. And with that said, I also brought it onto the bridge of the nose, the chin, forehead and then I took that sponge again and blended it all out and worked it into the skin. Now to set everything I used the Infallible Pro Matte Powder and did a light tapping of this all over the face. Not too much because we don't want to completely take away the glow. <laughs> it looks like I'm going in fast forward right now but I'm not, oh my gosh. Now for brows, I tried out this Brow Stylist Definer in Dark Brunette. First I just brushed all the hairs up and then started filling them in and this is in fast forward you guys. I'm not actually moving this fast this time. I wanted to really fill them in to look thick, dark, similar to hers in the picture and this pencil actually has a really small fine tip on it so I was able to get in there and define it how I wanted to. For shadow, I used my La Palette Nude 1 and started with this brownie bronze shade and applied that to the lid. If you like my definition, brownie bronze. Then I mixed a little bit of this goldy champagne shadow with the bronze and applied that over top, focusing it to the tear duct and the middle of the eye. I grabbed a clean blending brush and used that in my crease to blend out any harsh lines and to keep it soft and then I used this matte medium brown shadow, placed that in the crease with a smaller brush to lightly define the eyes. Just very simple, I wanted to keep the emphasis more on the skin. And oh, wait for it, wait for it, <laughs> look at this little nub. This was the eyeliner I wanted to use and that's all I had left. I love this pencil obviously, it's the L'Oreal liquid eyeliner pencil I want to say. And I remember I liked it, it went on super smooth, had like this gel texture, but that was all in the past because I barely have anything left. But I found a way to get it on for this video, I just had to really work at it. And to be honest, I feel like I applied too much liner for this look because she was all lashes. But you live and you learn. I gave them a curl and then used this new mascara, it's called Voluminous Butterfly Sculpt. It just sounds pretty. And check out the tip of it, it has like these teeny tiny bristles that really let you get close to the base of the lash. I felt like it's almost like you're tight lining with mascara because it lets you get the baby hairs like really in there at the tear duct. And next I used a mix of those two sha, yep, that's the right one. And I applied that to the lower lash line with a pencil brush. And then to finish off the eyes, I applied lots and lots of mascara to the bottom lashes. And I like this wand for this too because it's like using a comb. It separates them and then darkens them at the same time. It makes them really long. Ooh, now for the fun part, I used the Infallible Pro Contour and Highlight Palette, starting with the contour shade and applying that to the hollows of the cheekbones with light swipes back and forth. 
I was actually pleasantly surprised with both of these shades. I'll get to the highlighter in a second, but this contour shade worked great for my skin tone, and I find it hard for me to find one at the drugstore that I actually like. And because it's matte, I was also able to use it as my bronzer, so I applied some to the cheek over top of where I contoured, and I really worked it on to warm up the face. And as always, I bring it up onto the temples and then the forehead to give me a defined look. And Kim had on a lot of bronzer, so you know I had to do it. And I also use a smaller brush now with one of my hairs on it apparently. And I used it to contour the nose, just a light, light contour. I didn't want to go too crazy and then regret it later, you know how that is. And now for highlighter, okay, here's why I like it. It's pigmented, but not over the top. It lets you apply a very natural highlight without giving you like that frosty look. It's more of a glow, which is what I wanted because when I'm going for a look like this, I just want to look super bronzed and glowy everywhere. And this did it. And I'm applying it to the nose, Cupid's bow, forehead because, you know, I want that. I want to look lit. Did I just say that? No, forget it, I didn't just say that. And you can't forget about the tear duct. I applied a little bit to the top and the bottom. Now time for lips, I used the La Palette Lip. Isn't this so cute? I just love how tiny and compact it is. I'm using the middle shade and I thought it would be perfect for this look. Kim actually had on one of Kylie's lip kits. It's like this watermelon shade and after applying this, I thought it looked super similar to it and you could totally just wear this one but I wanted to add a little bit of extra definition with this ready coral shade so I applied that just to the outer edges. And I think that looks pretty darn similar. But to make it even better, I used some of the highlighter and tapped it onto the centers of the lips to make it pop and perfect. Then of course you know me, I gotta throw on a little bit more highlighter. But I really did like this as a final touch to the brow bone. It just adds this glowy effect. And it didn't stop there. You thought we were done. But I added some to the collarbones, the decolletage, I think that's how you say it, a little bit to the shoulder. And then I think we were all the way glowed up. What do you guys think? I hope you guys like this makeup. If you did, you know what to do. Give the video a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you're new. I post new beauty videos every week right here. And I also just started a vlog channel. Click the box on the right to watch my latest video. Subscribe to see what I'm doing when I'm not filming these beauty videos. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.